Yeah, I was thinking about that, actually. I hate bringing a tripod with me, but something that small would be awesome. Well, actually, fine which is a huge market for us, is also the astronomy market. Because with two rotors exactly. together, and they can even put sand in. can also use it as a mini because a lot of the laser targeting guys will actually shoot off the side of a vehicle yep. on a bonnet yep. so they'll just put a sort of thick plastic plaid mm -hmm. on the bonnet and then they'll mm -hmm. just stick that in. But this is believe it or not our 32nd iteration of this. Okay. Yeah, this was a <laughs> simple thing that we just, we showed to the to DSCI uh, nearly two years ago um, and we've been sorting around with this ever since. All right, this is something that I absolutely cannot keep from you guys. This is the craziest tripod in the world, bar none, guaranteed. This the is uh, the RPA Rolla Tube Super Lightweight Tripod System. Uh, do you guys remember those little bracelets when we were kids? That it's like a little ruler or a little like a flat deal, and you slap it on your wrist, and it curls up real fast around your wrist. Those things were cool. They had them in all those little neon colors, the bright neon yellow and the green back in the early 90s. You know that was pretty cool. Well, that's what this tripod is, kind of. The legs you roll them up and stick them in a little pouch. The thing is amazingly compact when you break it down, and yet it's very rugged when you set it up. This has tremendous potential uh, to be very useful for a lot of different applications, particularly special forces or airborne type applications where the guys, the last thing they want to lug around with them is a big awkward tripod. Uh, they carry enough equipment the way it is that uh, having something this compact is very, very nice to have. I think it would also be very handy for a long-range tactical marksman who uh, may need to uh, get over a berm or other obstacles. And uh, it's built pretty stout, every bit as stout as any aluminum tripod that I've ever played with. This Rolla tube technology is being used for a variety of applications. Uh, there are a few different of these tripods available. Uh, one of the configurations is the RMTA001 micro tripod which is kind of a setup for traditional sniper applications. It uh, does come equipped with a tripod mount with the Picatinny rail adapter. These tripod systems are designed to achieve three essential requirements on the battlefield. Extreme lightness, having the smallest physical profile and size of equipment possible, and maintaining the highest level of robustness possible. Well, I think it's fair to say that this tripod conforms to all these different uh, essential requirements. It's very lightweight at only two and a quarter pounds. It's definitely compact when you break it all down. You can slip it into a little uh, pouch that you can put on your web gear, stick in your rucksack. Uh, very, very compact. Uh, the design enables a full range of movement and it certainly holds the weapon in place pretty well. Uh, all the movement's controlled by just one lever and uh, it establishes a pretty stable platform in the prone position, uh, the sitting position, kneeling, or any other positions you can take. It's quick to adjust on uneven terrain, uh, and the design enables quick movement and target acquisition. The strong legs and surface area of the feet deliver substantial stability. Now it has a macro ball adjust that can go left and right and up and down, and it can cant and tilt uh, with a great range of motion. It delivers 360 degree movement. The tripod is equipped with the reverse Picatinny rail clamp adapter. This can be screwed off to reveal a 3 8 inch screw. You can say that this tripod is definitely versatile. It's been successfully trialed in both the UK and the US with uh, 308 rifles, 338s and 50 caliber rifles. Uh, it can be used sitting, kneeling, standing, all different manner of positions and it's interoperable with Picatinny and Hog Saddle which makes it kind of nice. 
and I really got to vouch for the quality of manufacture. Uh, this thing is really, really nicely made. You wouldn't believe the levels of engineering that these guys had to go through to get this thing put together like this. One of the other models available is the RMTA002 Precision Targeting Tripod. This one comes with a fine adjust head unit and adapter, which makes it ideal for uh, long range laser targeting uh, when you're going to be trying to laze a target at maybe 10 kilometers or more or God knows how far. You need to have a very fine adjusting head so you can get good positive target acquisition and make sure that you have good solid re reflectivity the whole time. This is being used by your JTACs and your Colt teams and guys like that, uh, your forward air controllers, your uh, fisters, and uh, guys who do a lot of uh, forward observation. The head unit is still very small and lightweight, and this system also is still compatible with your uh, sniper variant and you can still use the Hawk Saddle or the Picatinny Rail Grabber Adapter uh, mounted on the tripod if you'd like. This would be a very handy model to use as well, uh, especially if you're going to be using it, uh, especially for a spotter. They have the uh, GPMG tripod version as well, which is kind of built to be a replacement for the old steel tripods that uh, poor infantry guys have had to lug around since the beginning of time. And uh, it's just too much burden. It's about time that they've got an alternative option. And here you can see M240 mounted on one. These do come with a high mount and a low mount. Uh, there's a variety of choices. If you do get a hold of these guys, there's a lot more to it than what I'm showing you here. There's various adapters and accessories and different configurations available. Uh, so this is definitely something you're going to want to pay attention to. I would strongly recommend these tripod systems for spotters. If you want to find one of these things, I'll put the contact information in here. It'll be in the description of the video. You just hit the little arrow beneath the video. I'll give you the Rollatube Expeditionary Systems LTD contact information if you guys want in more information on this thing. It's a pretty slick setup. I'm definitely going to see what it's going to take to get my hands on one for further review or just if I have to buy it or whatever it takes. I'm, I think I'm going to get one of these things. Pretty darn slick. Uh, definitely a giant improvement over lugging around a standard tripod in the field. Is you, open up, you open them out, pull them out, and then you just twist it. You just bend it in a fraction. Okay. You put it in over the edge like that. Okay. And it lined up with that screw. Or that, just push it all the way in. Snap it. Push that thing in. Oh, okay. You've got to line it up, as I said, just fraction like that. Yep. And then bend it towards it. Like All the way in. Bonk. Okay. Because the US Army had a slight worry that no other way around. Oh, this way? No. Uh, they had oh, a slight you bet. worry that if they had to bug out quickly they would uh, leave the foot in the ground and then they'd be buggered, which they didn't want to be in the nicest way. I mean, this is very much a special operations type tripod. I mean, we understand that nobody else is going to put up with this. If, 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 if you know, being airborne where space is a huge issue for them, mm -hmm. why would they put up with this? But if, if size and everything is vital to them, then um, this is a very good solution. Actually, funnily, sorry, this is actually the micro adjusting tripod, which I didn't even know was here. Okay. So if you take that off. So this is for the Picatinny, for those people that just want the Picatinny. Yep. I think you and I together, we've got a brain cell between us. <laughs> now, the critical point about this is that this micro adjustment was absolutely critical because if you're laser targeting six miles away yep. on a building, you can't have somebody just making a huge adjustment right. to move 600 meters. 
so they want it to be very fine and you wouldn't believe the engineering that's gone in there. I mean we, we know nothing about tripods and we're very lucky that the guy actually that I saw this morning, you know, who was why I was late for you, he's absolute fanatical engineer.